Today I'm going to show you how to use candlelight for some atmospheric portrait shots. Using candles is a simple yet effective way to capture some nicely lit portraits in your home, with the warm candlelight creating an evocative atmosphere. But you need to follow a few key techniques for the best results. First off, we're using a wooden floor in our hallway to act as a reflective surface for the candlelight. Avoid drafty locations, otherwise the flames will flicker. Shooting at night with the lights off would be best, but we're shooting in the daytime here, and as long as the curtains are closed in your room, it should be dark enough. We've draped some dark material over the door to act as a backdrop and to block the window too. The area doesn't need to be totally dark as we're exposing for the bright candlelight which renders the backdrop and the surroundings black anyway. More candles equals more light on your subject. We found about 20 tea lights worked well, positioned in a rough triangular formation about a foot in front of our model. Tea lights produce a cooler tone as the candlelight is reflected against the little silvery tins. Shoot in raw and you can easily warm up the colour temperature of your image to suit the mood afterwards. A standard zoom lens at a focal length of around 50mm works best, as you can fill the frame without needing to be too far back from your subject, ideal when shooting in tight spaces indoors. It's best to shoot in manual mode so you can control your exposure to make sure the candlelight isn't too bright and to keep the background nice and dark. I'm going to start with an exposure of f2.8 at 1 100th of a second and ISO 500. The wide aperture will blur the foreground and background, the shutter speed will be fast enough for a sharp portrait shot handheld, while at ISO 500 it should capture enough light while still rendering the background dark. Now we're ready to take the shot. I'm lying down to make the most of the candlelight reflecting against the floor and then focusing on our subject's face. It can be tricky to expose for both the candles and the person in one shot as there is a marked difference in the light levels from the brighter candlelight compared to the darker face. The model's face is too dark in this start image, but this is easy to fix in Photoshop. As we've shot in RAW, we used the adjustment brush and then boosted the exposure and shadows to brighten her face. So why don't you follow these portrait techniques so you're not left in the dark? <laughs> 